I'm Sarah at Electric Quilt. For this EQ Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to draw pieced blocks using predetermined grids. This video will feature the arc grid so that you can draw your own New York beauties. In EQ7, go to the block work table. You're going to want to choose block, new block, patch draw block. You'll usually see a rectangle grid, but we're going to actually work on the arc grid today. Since we have curves in our grid, we need to change tools by clicking and holding on the poly draw tool and choosing the poly arc tool instead of the poly line tool. Now you might get this blue sticky line that you can't get rid of. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is double click and it's gone or you can hit the escape key on your keyboard and it goes away. To use the poly draw tool, it's just a matter of click click, 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 and double click to create a patch. Now it's not click and hold and drag. You don't have to hold your mouse down. You're just going to click and release, click and release, click and release, click and release, and then double click, and then you have your patch. I'm going to delete both of these. And I'm, I always like to start at the bottom. So I'm going to start down here and click, click, click. I like to click at every spoke so that it creates a better curve for my patch. And double click. Now I'm just going to continue to do the same thing in this ring. Click, click, double click. Now I have a group of patches that I like that I would like to duplicate. So I'm going to get the pick tool, click, hold, and drag a box around those. And I can actually clone and rotate those segments or those patches and then move them into place. So clone, I'm going to rotate it three times because that's the position I'm looking for. Click, hold, and drag that center crosshair and release it on the grid. I'm going to go back and get my poly draw tool. Click, 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 double click, and again. And that first ring is done already. I can continue to the second ring. And again, I can clone and rotate. I'm rotating twice because I'm going the distance of two spokes. And then this ring is now done. Continue again. Click, cl click, click double click again and get my pick tool and select all of those patches clone rotate twice clone rotate twice clone rotate twice your block is almost done already it's pretty amazing click 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 and then I Again, click on all these spoke marks and double click. I can color my block. I'm just going to use the default fabrics that are in here. But you can get fabrics from the library. Or import your own fabrics, of course. going to be a very rainbowy block. I want the rest of these patches to be filled in the same color, so I'm going to get the spray can tool and that's going to do that for me. And add to sketchbook. Now let's see what we can do on the block or on the quilt work table. Get my set block tool, select my block. I'm going to hold the control key down or the command key if you're on a Mac and fill in all those spaces at once. Get my symmetry tool and see what it can do. Thanks for watching this segment of the EQ Quick Tips. For more videos like this, check out the Electric Quilt Company's YouTube channel.